In Germany, drivers of Corvettes are often considered show-offs, since this American sports car has a dubious reputation. The Corvette is viewed as a car that promises more than it can keep. The Corvette owned by Manfred Kubitschek is different. What's beneath these shiny black curves is something expert eyes would not normally detect. This Corvette Stingray, built in 1970, looks just like it did 30 years ago. The huge air scoop in the hood, the 15-inch centerline wheels with the enormous 345 tires at the back, even the flaring wheel arches, all that was nothing unusual at American racetracks back then. A trip to a modern track with Kubitschek's Corvette proves that it's a car that keeps its promises. Thanks to a special Connie suspension, this vet cuts a great figure. By such drifts and slides, it demands professional skills behind the wheel. Its high-performance brake system from Willwood gives you the feeling the car is really safe. The presence of runoff zones also helps out here. This is what the heartbeat of America sounds like. Beneath the hood, a 6.2-liter V8 with 600 horsepower. That's supposed to be enough to catapult the car's one and a half ton weight in only four seconds from a standing start to 100 kilometers per hour. Compared with that, riding a cannonball would be like a casual Sunday stroll in the park. The transmission comes from set F and allows you to run the car flat out in sixth gear to an apex of 320 kilometers per hour. On board this Corvette is a perfect example how vintage cars get more beautiful with age. Everything's in wonderful original condition. Instead of overdone restoration, here it's nostalgic automobile history included. Racing history, to be exact. And this one can even be bought. The Kubitschek Corvette sells for around 180,000 euros. Other lower priced versions are also possible. What's important is that a customized Corvette does not promise what it cannot keep. <laughs>